Hey everyone, if you're a regular viewer of mine, you probably know that I've been traveling a whole lot this year, more than I've traveled in the last 10 or 15 years. And most of this travel this year has been with the band Devo on tour. We've been to Europe, we've been to the States, and most recently we were in Australia for a few weeks. And I gotta tell you, I met so many people uh, that I knew online, who I met for the first time face to face, people who I haven't seen since the last time I was in Australia, 10, 11 years ago. So it was quite a trip. It was very uh, fulfilling for me on a number of levels. And this video will focus on the vinyl finds that I came home with, other music gifts uh, that people gave me, and then gifts beyond just music uh, people bestowed upon me. And I'm so grateful and uh, appreciative of those gifts. So let me start by saying thank you to Lisanne, who made my stay in Melbourne extra special and extra easy. Her friend Timo, super cool guy. Thank you for the cool gifts. Uh, my friends at Utopia Records in Sydney, Paul and Ray, uh, Rocking Horse Records, Phil in Brisbane, uh, Netherworld in Brisbane, the Barcade, uh, Jimmy, thank you. Uh, Cherry Bar, my friends Nick and James and everybody at Cherry Bar in Melbourne, thank you so much for making me feel like family. Of course, my friends Ann and the Sniffers, uh, all my friends uh, who hooked me up with anything on this trip and who were nice to me. Uh, FAC crew, you know who you are. So check this out. First, I'm going to show you all the music stuff, and then I'm going to show you a bunch of other things that I acquired on this trip. And thank you so much, everybody. Check this out. All right, everybody. Here's all the music I got in Australia. Check this out. We're starting with my friends at Utopia Records, heavy metal shop in Sydney, and uh, we love them. Paul, Ray, you guys rule. So let's start off with this gift from Paul. Body something, yeah, you know, all that stuff. We can't show that cover very well, but uh, we will show it for a second. And yeah, he gave me this. Paul, you're a sick man. And you're so sick that you also gave me this. Now, as most of you know, if you know Utopia Records, not only do they have killer sleeves, look at that sleeve with the logo on it, right? Well, also they have killer employees. Paul, being the guy who gifted me this from his own collection, and Ray, who is a member of Australia's very infamous hard-ons, punk rock from Aussie, Aussie land. Anyway, this is a great album by hard-ons. Hard to find. It's called this. It's called that. It's got this on it. It's got that on it. It's got this on it. And it's got this on it. Now, interesting story about this is You'll see on the back here, these uh, band member, in quotes, photos. Um, look, at those are not actually the band members. What I was told is that the uh, graphic artist, namely Ray, uh, did a search for the term douchebag on Google and picked a few photos that came up when he, when he Googled that. He used them as the band uh, imagery. That's pretty funny. Look at that guy. Uh, it's supposed to be numbered here. But I, even the one on Discogs is not numbered, so I don't know what's going on there. But uh, I will show you that I believe this is the real band here. That's the real band. And I think if you search the term... No, no, no just kidding. Uh, yeah, there they are. And this is a great record, and it's very hard to find. And thank you, Paul. I'm in love with you, Paul, and Ray, you too. Well, let's just do this. We'll just start a little stack here. Oh, I can't forget this part. This is the best part. This is a little letter that my friend Paul wrote me, and it came with this record that he left in my hotel. <laughs> Dork the halls with cats and Devo. Here we go. <laughs> Back to fucking America. <laughs> That's great. Now, speaking of hard-ons and Ray and how beautiful he is, Ray and I started talking about the Dickies. And Ray said, I have something of the Dickies that you're going to freak out about. And I did freak out about it, and he gave it to me. It's the first pressing of the Dickies album, Incredible Shrinking Dickies, first Australian pressing, I'm told. And it features a censored version of Eva Destruction. Yes, the uh, dirty word is uh, censored right out of there, Eva Destruction. And uh, what I'm told by Ray is that it's just clipped out of the song. Like, they didn't even change the, the... make sure the timing was correct. Anyway, he learned the song 
as edited on this version. And then when he found out later that that wasn't the real version of the song, he found it hard to listen to this version ever again, the edited version. Now, this is what I remember him telling me. And he, he just graciously gifted me this from my Dickies archives. And as you all know, if you know me, you know that the Dickies are my second favorite band in the world, next to Devo. And so I was very appreciative of this cool gift. I've not listened to it yet. I plan to do that very soon. But yeah, I've never heard of this edited version on the Australian pressing. And I'm quite chuffed to have it. Now, also speaking of Utopia, since it was the first record store I stopped at in the old country of Australia, I decided to pick up some vinyl by the Sniffers, uh, uh, Melbourne's own, and on the Sniffers. And uh, I did it basically because not only did I get a killer discount at Utopia, but uh, I was going to see the Sniffer people in a day or two or at some point during this tour. And so I just bought some stuff for them to sign. So I didn't get them to sign the cover of Comfort to Me Deluxe Version, but I did get them to sign the poster. Ha <laughs> look at that. Look at those crazy kids. They like rock and roll. They're all about rock and roll, these kids here. Amy, Bryce, Gus, Declan. Thanks, you guys, for your service to rock and roll, of course. And I also picked up this record, which I did not have yet. I had a comfort to me on CD, but I did not have this one in any form. I have not heard it yet, but look at those killer signatures. Thank you guys for uh, making the music collector geek and me very happy. Now check this out. At some point on my journey in Australia, I got not one Australian pressing of their first album. I love the village people. I collect the village people. I have a pretty good village people collection, everybody. Two versions of the Australian pressing of village people's first album, and this one being a yellow cover. Never seen it before. Had to have it. Now, this isn't true, I don't think, of the Australian pressings, but in America, you can tell the first pressing of their album because instead of lead singer, it says here, it says lip singer. And that's how you can tell the first pressing in America. I do not believe that's true with the Australian pressing. But anyway, two Australian pressings of their first album, Killer. And then check this out, you guys. Oh, yeah. You know, if you know me and the Village People and all that stuff, you know Renaissance, which is their kind of new wave punk rock, you know, post-disco comeback album. And uh, boy, it's my favorite. And I don't have the Japanese pressing. Well, I didn't until now. And I had to get this. 20 bucks Australian, which is probably like, I don't know, 12 bucks uh, American, 15 maybe. Had to get this. Look at this. And of course, it comes with the killer little uh, inserts that these Japanese pressings tend to come with. And so we'll put that in there. And yeah, I love this album. If you haven't heard this album, you need to check out the song Food Fight. Food Fight's good. And uh, Diet is really good. Diet. You know you gotta try it. Yeah, Diet and Food Fight. Right next to each other. And Big Mac is a good one too. You guys just dive into that if you haven't discovered that yet. Now another favorite band of mine, Reflex from the 80s. Synth pop, politics of dancing. Uh, lots, they have they quite a number of hits off this uh, their first record. And I saw this band open for the police. Um, the Police of Synchronicity tour back in the 80s. I love them. Love Reflex. I'm a Reflex collector. So I didn't have this Australian 12 inch. And I picked it up for dirt cheap. So love it. Got to have me some Reflex. And the final. Oh. Let me just mention, we were talking about uh, uh, record stores that were nice to me. I went to a record store called Rocking Horse Records and, uh, in Brisbane, and Phil at Rocking Horse was so cool. He gave me a t-shirt, and he gave me this CD of his band, and uh, I cannot wait to check it out. Thank you, Phil, for that. And last but not least, I want to show you something that was gifted to me by my friend Timo in Melbourne. Uh, he's friends with my other friend, Lee San, and he gave me these original Severed Heads vinyl records. Now, Severed Heads is way up there as my, one of my top five favorite bands of all time. I have a huge Severed Heads collection. I uh, pride myself in my Severed Heads collection. And... Shit. Is it still fun? Pride myself in my Severed Heads collection, and check this out. We've got Hot With Fleas, 12 inch, 
we've got Bad Mood Guy, cool pressing of that album, and then we have Road Time for Success, all Australian original pressings. Very cool. And I almost forgot to mention this. This is a flexi disc that the fine folks at Rocking Horse Records in Brisbane gave me. Features one of my favorite bands uh, from the 80s, 90s, Stump. You can see there's Stump. This is on uh, Solid Gold, uh, Flexi. It came with some magazine. Can't remember the you know, exact details. But now, let me show you all the non-music, non-record CD stuff that I got on this trip. Check this out. <laughs> 